I think you already know this, but we do have the Matterhorn project open. We just saved it. And it comes in the Matterhorn project folder inside your work folder. If yours looks like mine does, do one other thing here. We've reduced the volume on this to zero temporarily. Let's go ahead and collapse those out if they're open. I need more room. Gotta have room. What are we gonna look at now? Let's talk about adding a motion graphic to our video. Now that's graphics over here. Now I do understand that this is a basic course and my goal, if you will, in a basic course is to get you up and running in the program and curious enough about the program so that you'll wanna go to areas maybe we didn't cover but that doesn't mean we can't pack in as much stuff as we can. We have talked about these before, just a little bit. And if you go up here, you've got all kinds of stuff, even music, nature, sports and hobbies, animals, like a dinosaur. Hey, I could put a dinosaur in here. Not going to. Let's go back to animateds. I want that butterfly. Now, this is kind of what I want to do. Let me close this for a second. I want the butterfly to start right about here and kind of fly into the scene as, now remember this thing, let me play it for you. See, they shot that on a crane. That is one of the things you really got to get. You can even make these things for 20 bucks. And what they're doing is, I mean, look at the difference in doing it this way than opposed to just a solid shot or trying to do something like that handheld. Cranes are really nice devices for video production. But I want the butterfly kind of flying off in this direction as that crane is moving the scene shot over. That's my goal. So let me go ahead and put him say right about there, maybe start it right about there somewhere. Let's go back into our graphics. Don't forget, if you see the little blue ribbon on the upper right hand corner of the graphic, that means you don't have it yet. It's still on the Adobe site, you gotta load it. So one of the things that's a given here, if you're not connected to the internet, it's not gonna work. Now I already have it, so it's already loaded. All I have to do is drag it out. If it isn't loaded yet, when you drag it out, it will show you or tell you that it's loading it. Let's bring it out here. I'm going to put it right here. And there it is. Now, if we play it, cute. Looks good like that, but we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's bring this back down to here. Okay. Go ahead and select butterfly here. Then go into Applied Effects. Now in Applied Effects for the butterfly, we do have Motion and Opacity. And those are the only two I think I really need. I'm going to go into Motion, open it up. Then I'm going to click this button right here because I need keyframes. This is my thought here. I want the butterfly to start way over here and kind of fly in and get smaller and smaller and smaller as if it's flying away. So I'll have to angle him a little bit to kind of fit the line of the path of the flight. And I think we can do most, if not all, of that right here. Now our playhead, our CTI, don't forget CTI does stand for Current Time Indicator. Tell you what, before we start here, there's actually a couple of rough out things we can do over here before we get started. Let's go ahead and grab our guy right there, or gal, I guess. I'm going to move them down to here for now. I'm probably going to have them come on the screen from way over here, but we'll deal with that in a second. If I look at this again, the direction of the crane is kind of like going like this. So I kind of want the direction of the butterfly to do the same thing, I think. So what I'll do is grab them again, go to the edge until you see that bent arrow, and drag them. Now we could do this through the effects, but why? I mean, we can do it here, it's easier. And something about like that. Okay, let's get back to butterfly, make sure we got it selected. Open up motion. And we need keyframes. We need one at the beginning. Let's move the CGI playhead to the beginning. And click this button right here for position and for scale, both. Because I want him to get smaller as he's flying away, or at least that's what it's going to look like. When you're dealing with a two-dimensional surface, which we are, even though it's a video, to make things look like they're getting further away, you make them smaller. Makes sense. Opposite if you want them to come toward you. So, let's do this. 
Let's start with position. Let's go all the way to the end, or almost to the end. Just about to the end, say right about, oh, maybe there. So it's not quite at the end, but that's where we want him to go away. All I have to do now is either make a keyframe on position, or to me, this would be a little bit easier. Don't add the keyframe here. Just drag the object and it will add the keyframe automatically. So I'm going to take the butterfly and I'm going to fly that guy all the way to about there. That's kind of where I want him to go away. Now, if we move it, as you can see, it's doing what I want it to do. Now let's take it back over to this keyframe, actually by clicking this button right here. Scaling, same thing. I could add the keyframe, but it will add it for me automatically when I lower it down to L0. Tell you what, let's close this out. Applied effects. Let me make this a little bit smaller here. So we see a little bit more, and let's render. Let's go ahead and render it. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit here. There's our butterfly. Let's get right about here. Cross your fingers. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. Now let's do one more thing. Let's go into video two right here. Right click your mouse right in the track and say rename. It's not video two anymore, it's graphics. Why not? Motion graphics, whatever you want to call it. Makes it easier to identify it. So what we've done here is we've created a motion graphic. Now we could go beyond this. Let's come back over it again. Get right about there. Let's go back into Applied Effects and do this. The cursor is right here, the playhead, the CTI is right here. I'm going to come over here and grab him. And see, I can bend it. Maybe give him a little bit of a curved path, too. Why not? Let's go ahead and close this out. And let's render again. Rendering creates that little mini movie that we can see. And let's look at that one more time. I don't know. That's kind of cute. Let's go ahead and stop and save. And we're ready for the next lesson.